Well, you've probably heard of Cameo.com where you can get a message from a celebrity that you may like. Uh, Jasmine.com takes it a step further. This is kind of exciting. You get to interact with that celebrity. Their creative director in face is Pamela Anderson, who's with us right now. Hello, Pam. Good to see you. Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a little while. Um, you'll be doing a daily show as well. So uh, what topics will you be fielding? Well, it's kind of like, it's actually kind of like Instagram Live where you can ask, ask questions. And I kind of have a topic in mind when I start the Instagram Live thing. But um, we just did one yesterday. It was really interesting. We crashed it a couple times. There were so many people on it. But that was, um, that'll be worked out. So you're fielding questions that are coming across um, the screen. But what if somebody wants to pay the big bucks and have a, just a direct conversation with Pam? Pam, I'm with my girlfriend. We've been together a little while. Uh, she's not responding to the flowers I give her. What do I do? That guy. More than flowers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, Can I have lots of good advice. I really love it. I think it's just fun to talk to a person, you know, especially in times of the, what we weren't planning on launching this during this whole COVID thing, but kind of, it really kind of just um, accentuated the fact that people are lonely and they need a connection with humans. And this takes social media to another level because you can talk to people directly. You can ask me a question and you look into someone's eyes and you can actually get a you know human um, answer. It's not just like by text. It's just, it's, I think it's great. It's a great, um, it's got a lot of opportunity. When they first presented it to me a year ago, um, I was a little bit you know, this whole webcamming and stuff seemed to raise a little bit of red flags for me. But then I thought, you oh, know, I like red flags. What can I do with this? Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. we can really play with this because, you know, technology is becoming a part of relationships if we like it or not, or if it's behind closed doors or not. So why not accept it into our relationships and into our friendships and, and you know, build these kind of emotional connections and people that, you know, are kind of needing that little bit of attention, they can get it. And I think humans need humans. And I was, I know, I remember reading my favorite authors, like Anise Nin would say, when the telephone was invented, that would just destroy intimacy. So I think we need to stop romanticizing the past and romanticize the future and accept technology as part of nature because it kind of is. It's just yeah. here if we like it or not. So I want to embrace it and see what we can do with it, make it positive. Jasmine describes you as actress, activist, and sex positivity icon. That's such an interesting term. It's kind of politically sex correct. What does it mean? Well, embrace your, your sensuality, embrace your, it's sexy is, is a, you have to be smart to be sexy and you have to be, it's not something to be uh, looked down upon or, or shame, you know, not that I want to call myself sexy, but I think I live a sexy life. You know, I like, I, I, I think that it's, um, you have to be brave, you know, to be in love, you have to be brave to be a good lover. And I, I think there's so much to talk about on this subject that I really resonate with and I'm really passionate about. I always have been. You know, I've made a lot of um, fun mistakes in my life. No regrets. Really? <laughs> yeah, everybody has. <laughs> you have no regrets? No regrets? No regrets. No. It's so, that's great. It's a wonderful thing. It's a tap, life is a tapestry and it's all kinds of things woven into it. a mistake too, you know? What are, what's a mistake anyway? A mistake to me might not be a mistake to you or the other way around, you know? It's just, it just means you're not following the bewildered herd. You're living your own life, painting your own picture. What topics do you feel most secure talking about? Questions, fielding, and... I mean, anything from activism, and you know, if it's, if it's my whole spectrum of activism from human rights, you know, the animal rights, and, um, or just, you know, living a, a kind of a, a, the romantic struggle, I like to call it, which is being an activist, but also, um, living a romantic life and not being afraid, not living in fear of failing or a fear of men or bitterness. It's just, life goes by so fast. And so I like to, um, you know, live in the moment and, and like I said, romanticize the, the, where you are at the moment or the future, not the past, because we're all full of mistakes or whatever you want to call it, not even mistakes, but you know, they always kind of colors our decisions, our past. And if we can just kind of live in the moment, we don't have to, we could have a really exciting, fun and fresh life, I guess. So that's what I love about Jasmine. It's just, you can, it's like one-on-one, -on -one, it's real time. Is there anything off limits from somebody who's asking you questions? Well, I think you should be respectful, obviously. I mean, yeah. um, that's all you ask. But there's so much to talk about that's even in the sexy area. You know, you don't have to be disrespectful. And I'm also willing to talk about um, things that might be risque 
to some and not risque to others. You know, so you just kind of, you, you draw your own lines, you make your own boundaries, you set your own boundaries. You don't have to talk about anything that you're uncomfortable with. And are you direct with people when you have to be? Like, look, Larry, this is a terrible idea. She's not going to like this. Do not do it. Well, everybody's different, but yeah, I would definitely, I'm definitely honest with my feelings. I think if you ask anybody around me, including my children, I'm very direct. There's no, uh, no secrets. There's no, uh, it's very raw and honest. I can't do it any other way. Good. That's awesome. Speaking of your boys, your children, uh, Brandon and Dylan, uh, handsome young fellas in their twenties. Did you, did you ever sit them and give the, you know, sit down with them and give them the reverse talk, you know, about being gentlemen and what did that go like, you know, when they were growing up. It is a miracle considering the gene pool, but they are perfect gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> As our kids get older, we, you want to Google proof them. Do you ever, you know, watch out, don't Google my name and what you, and all the different things because people write about famous people. Oh, you know what? They grew up with me. So people always say, how do your kids handle it? I said, you know, they, they've known me since they were born. <laughs> they know what they got into. Like there's no surprises. So they know who their parents are. And and I said to them too, look, if, I'm sorry, you know, we're your parents and that's it. And that's just, we got to accept it and make the best of it. We all have, you know, certain things that are maybe considered obstacles in our life. And if that's all you got is a couple of wild and crazy mom and dad who loved you, you know, to death, it's not a bad obstacle to overcome. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.